What's going on, y'all? Real Housewives of Atlanta. Every time I watch this show, it seems like it's just more drama and more drama with this Nene. She is really starting to get on my nerves. Like, seriously. I hope this she don't come back next season because I'm really not here for her. But let's get into it. So, it starts off with Nene and Greg. Um, you know, she was saying that um, for one thing that I didn't like that she said, she said that she was upset that Kenya quote unquote used her name to get people to come to her event. First of all, yo, I'm like, your name don't carry that much weight. As far as I'm concerned, saving our daughters carries way more, way much more weight than Nene Leaks. People came because they wanted to support the, the charity and they wanted to, and a lot of them people that came probably know who Nene is and probably you know like her that's why they came of course they want to support the charity but the fact that okay Nene leaks girl your name does not carry that much weight have a seat so and then they started talking about the fight you know I guess you know what it, what it went down between her and Peter oh excuse me I just ain't mentioned I woke up so and you know she was saying that he was acting like a woman that's you know gossiping and jumping in women's faces and yada 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 I'm thinking myself I feel like even whether you're a woman or a man, when when you get to a certain age, gossiping, all that, you after a while, it's like you ought to be mature to the point where stuff like that is too old. It don't matter, you know, because she was like, women is usually one that gossip and did it. You know, women, ought, women, men, whatever, ought to get to a certain point where gossip and stuff. I gossip and stuff is is high school. I like. Y'all are in y'all 40s and 50s. Y'all still gossiping and backbiting and all this other crap. Y'all was too old for that. Um, and then she mentions that see, uh, Cynthia invited him to Peter's party. So, and then it switches over to Cynthia and Mallory. She was basically kind of, basically like, she kind of wish she hadn't a, basically made Nene come or begged her to come. She was... You know, she did say, if, you know, she did acknowledge the fact that, you know, Nene's my girl, but that was wrong. And I'm kind of like, well, why didn't you say something to her versus having, you know, Peter having to say something to her? Um, you know, she also said that, you know, when they got home, she, she kind of got on Peter. One thing that I did, you know, she said that she feel like that wasn't the right time to address her and I know some people feel like you know you know when you have when you have issues with people you you all you need to address them right then and you know and nip it in the bud right then but I kind of feel like he was already upset and then his feelings and he was drinking I kind of feel like he should have waited and you know went home and slept it off and then maybe the next day him and Cynthia could have went and met up with her and Greg and they could have talked it out versus you know it's like you know, I just feel like it was kind of blown out, all out of proportion. You know, had he waited maybe to the next day to say something about it, then maybe, you know, it could have turned out differently. Um, and she was basically like, she hate being caught in the middle. Hmm, excuse me. So next we get to Kenya and Marlo. Yeah, Kenya and Marlo. Kenya come walking up in there because Marlo said she looked cute. Looked it. She looked cute. And um, she was in Kenya talking about something. She had some camel toe or something, so she had to go home and change. That is not something that you want to be admitting to anybody. I'm just saying. Anyway. And I'm trying to figure out how did her and Marlo become such good friends. Like, that's something that everybody wanted. Like, how, they, they, like, what, how, like did something transpire between the winery and when she went and met with her at Miss Lawrence shop? Where it's like, they like BFFs now. Like, I'm just confused. So, anyway. You know, they start discussing the ball. They get on Nene. She, you know, she was kind of talking about the way Nene acted and yada, yada, yada. So, and I and I like the fact that, you know, instead of Marlo being like, what? Oh, I can't believe Nene. You know, at least she, you know, she tried to give her the benefit of the, uh, benefit of the doubt. You know, she was like, I, you know, I just, I don't, I never, I don't believe, I don't believe that was Nene. I can't believe Nene. You know, she was kind of like, you know, I've known Nene for a while. So, you know kind of like the what, what you saying I can't really believe that that was her um so then Cynthia goes to check out where Peter 
is having his party. He calls and says he's not going to be able to make it because he's tired. You know, he doesn't know he's having a party. He just thinks that they're going to have dinner somewhere. So, um, and I feel, and I'm like, what kind of crap is that you tired? Your wife trying to help you celebrate your birthday and do something nice for you. And you call talking about you can't come because you're tired. You, you can go home and take you a nap. And then get up and go, you know, meet her. So, he did end up saying that he was coming in. He was going to be late. He would come at 7. So, I don't know what time the party actually started. Because people, like, were coming in and it was still daylight. Because Candy and Ty were there, um, you know, like, during daylight. And then, all of a sudden, it gets uh, dark. And then, the Jamaican band comes and it's only two people. That's not a band. That's a a do a a duet or group. That ain't that no. Cause she was like, cause Cynthia was like, I thought it was gonna be more than two people, and the, the, and one of the dude like, well, we'll sound like twenty. And when they started playing, no, they didn't. Mm -hmm. I could tell it was only like two or three instruments being played. But anyway, so Portia shows up. They kind of talk about the ball. You know, she was and Cynthia was telling them how Peter. And then he got into it, whatever. So, I think they was all kind of, like, I guess kind of, they basically were saying they understood how Nene felt. Like, we haven't been talking, and then all of a sudden you honor me at an event, but you don't call me or, you know, don't text her. You call her or don't text her or whatever. So, mm -hmm. then Kenya and Marlo show up. And like I said, everybody's questioning their new friendship. So, Nene comes in. Hugs everybody, and Marlo walks up to Nene, and she, you know, like, what's going on? Like, you treat me like an outcast. Like, I'm your, you know, I'm your good girlfriend. You don't need to come speak to me. Like, you know, she was just confused. So then Kenya comes up and wants to talk to Nene. So she dismisses uh, Cynthia and Marlo because you know she was saying that when Nene has an audience, that's when she want to try to get booked and try to throw shade and all that. So she wants to talk to her by herself. So basically, Kenya apologizes. Nene is still stuck on this pillow talk thing girl move on you supposed to be grown or grown and if I'm not mistaken I could have sworn she said she's not the type of person that holds grudges but obviously she is so you know Kenya was basically like I'm not you you want to put the blame on me for everything which I'm not going to allow you to do but I will apologize for my part and it's kind of like why did you okay you apologize but why could you have acknowledged your faults early and apologize earlier Instead of letting all this time go by, now you want to apologize because you want Nene to be your friend again. If anything, you should apologize before you put this ball together. Like, anyway, so Nene's still feeling some type of way because she didn't even want to hug Kenya. She just wanted to high five her. So they go sit down. Marlo's sitting over here. And Nene goes and sits by Candy. So Candy kind of was like, What's going on with Nene and Marlo? Because what in what world would she rather sit by me than with Marlo? So. You know, Kenya Marlo was acting like BFFs. Nene was feeling some type of way, so she gets up and leave. And I didn't, um, and there was, there was a point where Nene and Peter kind of, like, somehow ended up with each other, you know. She, she was, whatever their beef is, beef is, it's not necessarily squashed but he wasn't trying to get into it at that time so he was like give me a hug don't be acting like that you know it's obvious she was like I'm not mad at you but it's obvious the way she was acting that she's still feeling some type of way so we move on from there Ken no Kenya didn't come to Portia's house Nene came to Portia's house you know she was basically talking about you know she was happy for Portia getting a part in um, Candy's play because she needs a job and yada 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 but as far as I'm concerned you need a job too so you why you didn't go audition for that play oh alright and what does Greg do like I'm just confused anyway they talk about Portia dating she brings up Kenya's ball She's still upset about it. Like I said, I can understand, you know, if you were supposed to be the honoree, she could at least call you. But then, like some people were saying, had she called, if you were mad at Kenya, had she called you, you probably would, <clears throat> what's wrong with my voice? If she had called you, you probably wouldn't have picked up the phone anyway. And if she had left you a voicemail, you probably would have act like you ain't seen it. So, like, 
But like I said, that still don't justify how you acted at the ball with that nasty speech and your sloppy stank attitude. Girl, you could have just stayed home. Um, like I said, she's supposed to be an actress. She could have played it off and then went off on Kenya later on. I was Anyway, that was last week. We're going to move on from there. So, she basically kind of somewhat calls Marlo an opportunist without actually saying the word opportunist. Kind of like what Natalie did. But my thing is, you was an opportunist when you first signed on. When you first signed on to this show back in season one. Oh, all right. Moving on. So, they go to Kenya and Lawrence. She finally got some furniture. We finally see another room in her house besides the kitchen. Um, she wants to plan a trip to Mexico. My thing about Kenya is this. It's the, the way she said it, it's like, I want to plan this couple. First of all, how you going to plan a couple trip and you ain't got no man? Oh, all right. But anyway, so she wants to plan a couple trip. It's the way she said it, it's kind of like she was saying, like, everybody's mad at me, so I want to plan this trip to try to get back in everybody's good graces. And I'm like, do, and I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, in my mind, I'm like, do you really need friends that bad that you go, that you doing all this stuff? Like, it's like you're trying to buy their friendship. Like, it's like I, I and I don't want to keep backtracking, but going back to the ball, it's kind of like she felt like, okay, I'm going to throw this ball for Nene. She's going to be the guest of honor. I'm going to raise all this money for the charity that she supports. And she's going to be not mad, not be mad at me again. It's like, so first of all, you're planning a couple trip for people that don't like each other. You know, Phaedra and Apollo was going to be there. She don't like them. You got Peter and Greg, Cynthia and Nene. Peter and Nene have an issue with each other which we see from the previous day is it going to turn into him and Greg having an issue with each other each other so I'm um, anyway girl if you if you feel like you got to buy people to get to get to, to obtain their friendship or to buy people off so they won't be mad at you no more you need to find you some better friends I'm just saying so she bring they bring up Apollo Cynthia was I mean Kenya was basically like she may need a um a bodyguard. So Miss Lawrence was like, "Here come." From what Kenya said, Miss Lawrence know how to get down if, if a fight break out. Basically, what she was saying. So then we get to the Bailey Bowl. Um, Phaedra shows up for, first, then Portia, then Kenya, then Nene, Monique, and Greg. Derek J. And shout out to Funky Donnie because he was on the show with Derek J. as a referee. Um, Candy is late, but she made an entry. She hired everybody on her team. It was a professional somebody. Um, she had the height cheerleader. She had her banner made and everything. I don't remember who the teams was. Well, I know Nene's team was Team Rich. I think Portia's team was Team Naked. I think Phaedra's team was Team Real. And then Kenya's team was Team 12. I can't remember who Cynthia and Candy's teams were. But, so, Marlo comes in late. Did Marlo come in before or after the egg race? But anyway, Marlo came in late. She felt some type of way because she was on she like she was on Kenya's team, but she was felt like what Adini did invite her to be on her team. So at the end of everything, Marlo goes over to Nini to try to talk to her. Nini basically walk away like get away from me. So I think she was talking to Lex, and she was like, "Well, I was just like, why didn't she invite me to be on her team?" And so Kenya comes over there. She was asking her. She basically talked with her. So then Kenya goes to try to get Marlo and Nene to talk. So Kenya goes over to Nene. And she tries to grab. It, to me, it looked like she put her hands in Nene's face when they showed it in slow motion. And Nene moved, slapped her hand and was like, get the F off me, B. And then she threw a water bottle at Marlo, yada, yada, yada. So then they get into it. I mean, Marlo was calling her. Basically, she called her insecure. She uh, tell you that Nene stole her styles. Um, you know, she was basically like, so what? Are you mad at me? Or like you mad at me because I'm friends with Kenya? Like you think I'm you? What you felt like I was gonna stop being your friend because I'm Kenya's friend? Like no. And so Marlo was just upset about it. You know she told her she needed to go get her Donald Trump wig done. I I wasn't feeling that wig Nene was wearing anyway. Nor was I feeling that long wig she had in when she went to Portia's house. And Nene she's mad and yada yada yada. So they leave. Marlo was crying. She her voice is even deeper when she cried. I was like, girl, no, ma'am. Anyway, 
I kind of feel like Nene and Marlo's relationship wasn't really that real anyway if something as little as that called them to break up. Like, well, not break up, but y'all y'all know what I'm saying. Like, call, call them to not be friends no more. Okay, you, so I'm like, because I know somebody did say that Nene was very, like, I don't want to say protective about her friends, but basically... I feel like the way Nene feels is that if I don't like somebody and you my friend, you not supposed to like them either. Which I don't. I think that's total bullcrap. I can be friends with you and you don't like somebody, and I can be friends with the other person. You know, it's not like if I'm go when I'm with them, I'm talking bad. I'm talking bad about you, and when I'm with you, I'm talking bad about them. You know, I mean, sometimes being in that position can be hard sometimes. But I mean, Nene just needs to grow up. I'm just. I don't. I don't know what her issue is. Like I said in my last review, she, I think feel like she's fit. She don't like Kenya, also because she feel like Kenya is taking her spotlight, taking her shine as the star of the show. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, share this video on Facebook and Twitter. All of my Facebook and all that'll be down at the bottom. Also, be sure to check out Ashley Miller, nineteen eighty-seven. Tasha C, some more love, Bondi Blue, Forest Rocks, much love from KY, Jess and J1232, Scotty from Mr. Still Standing, The Ghetto View, um, A Connection TV, Mike B801, Minority Pony, Jamar Washington, Berserkham H1, Mike B801, um, am I missing somebody? Squeaky Jones and anybody else that I forget don't take it for hate take it for, don't take it for hate anyway check y'all out later YouTube peace